to the news. The 94th Academy Awards were held last night and featured the first live performance of We Don't Talk About Bruno from the Disney musical Encanto, followed by an unbelievable live performance of We Don't Talk About Jada. <laughs> well, remember 24 hours ago when we thought Timothy Chalamet's sternum was the craziest thing we'd see all night? That's right, Will Smith walked on stage during last night's Academy Awards show and slapped Chris Rock in the face. And I gotta say, the last thing I ever expected to see at the Oscars was a display of narcissism. <laughs> we'll have more on this story in a little bit, but first let me do the rest of the monologue, which is kind of terrifying now that I know you can get slapped for doing a bad joke. <laughs> During his speech on Saturday in Poland, President Biden spoke directly to the Russian people and said that President Vladimir Putin was to blame for Western economic sanctions because if there's one thing Biden loves, it's pointing fingers. <laughs> During a rally in Georgia on Saturday, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene attacked Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and said, quote, he and his husband can stay out of our girls' bathrooms. Well, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. She's right. <laughs> Men use the men's bathroom. She got she got one right. <laughs> According to a new report, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's wife, Ginny, discussed ways to overturn the 2020 election with then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. But don't worry, she'll get her comeuppance when she's eliminated first on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Pepsi, <laughs> Pepsi. You guys, Pepsi has. <laughs> Pepsi has announced a partnership with the restaurant chain IHOP to offer a Pepsi Maple syrup, great if you love Pepsi, but you wish it took half an hour to pour one. <laughs> President Biden on Monday announced the so-called billionaire minimum income tax as part of his 2023 budget, specifically the part they'll have to cut out before it will pass. President Biden yesterday signed an anti-lynching bill into law, and not, as I would have hoped, President Buchanan. <laughs> After meeting with Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson yesterday for the second time, Republican Senator Susan Collins told reporters she felt Jackson had met her personal standard for serving on the Supreme Court, which is blowing anything under a .08 on a breathalyzer. <laughs> The White House said yesterday that it would not invoke executive privilege to shield Jared Kushner from testifying before the House committee investigating the Capitol attack. And if indicted, he could be tried as an adult. <laughs> After it was reported that former President Trump may have communicated during the Capitol attack using so-called burner phones, Trump released a statement on Monday that said, quote, I have no idea what a burner phone is, to the best of my knowledge, I have never even heard the term. <laughs> I love the way he always goes a little too far with his denials. <laughs> it's like if someone said, hey man, I haven't seen your wife lately, and you said, I wouldn't even know how to poison someone. <laughs> and I sure as hell don't own a shovel. <laughs> After facing criticism for his plan to clear homeless encampments from the city, New York Mayor Eric Adams told reporters yesterday, quote, I'm like broccoli. You're gonna hate me now, but you're gonna love me later. Well, okay, but just speaking for myself, it's been 48 years on broccoli. <laughs> According to a new study, eating just two servings of avocado a week can reduce the risk of having a heart attack by more than 20%. So yeah, still no such thing as affordable health care. <laughs> two avocados a week? Who's making two avocados a week money? <laughs> Walgreens has announced plans to open robot-powered fulfillment centers across the U.S. to help fill prescriptions, with each robotic pharmacist able to complete 300 prescriptions an hour, which will give you more time to wait for someone to come unlock the razors. <laughs> Ro robot does not unlock razors. <laughs> Come on, you've got robot hands, Kate. No, robot does not. <laughs> Only fill <filled> prescription. <laughs> that is Steve's job. Where's Steve? Steve is on break. <laughs> no, robot. <laughs> Steve never tell robot where he is going. 
make robots, Dad. <laughs> Steve Robot, best friend. <laughs> according, <laughs> according to new reports, Apple is set to make 10 million fewer AirPods than anticipated this year due to rising inflation. So maybe think twice before walking over a sewer grate. Oh! <laughs> Oh, man, my AirPod. I don't got the money for more. I already bought my two avocados. <laughs> and finally, in honor of Easter, Disney World will offer a so-called boozy bunny, which features a chocolate rabbit filled with a bourbon drink. It's the perfect treat for people who shouldn't be at Disney World. <laughs> so President Biden spoke yesterday with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky for nearly an hour. Zelensky secured $500 million in aid, and Biden somehow ended up with a reverse mortgage. <laughs> Intelligence officials reportedly believe that Russian President Vladimir Putin has only recently learned how poorly the invasion of Ukraine has been going and is angry with his military advisors. And you can tell he's upset because now the table is even longer. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said yesterday that Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn admitted that claims that his fellow lawmakers had done cocaine and invited him to orgies were exaggerated and added that Cawthorn told him he, quote, doesn't know what cocaine is. Guys, <laughs> you gotta keep your denials believable. It's okay if you know what cocaine is. I mean, look at this guy. He knows what cocaine is. Maybe he never did any, but every guy who looks like that hangs out with eight other guys who look exactly like that, and one of them always has cocaine. Oh, hold on, yeah, no, it's in my puffy vest. <laughs> McCarthy also added that Cawthorn has lost his trust, which is tough, because once you lose Kevin McCarthy's trust, you almost immediately get it back. Organizers of Sunday night's Academy Awards said in a statement yesterday that Will Smith refused to leave the Oscars after slapping Chris Rock and added that they, quote, recognize we could have handled the situation differently, like maybe hiring younger security guards. <laughs> you gotta go! You gotta go. You gotta go. I don't think he's gonna go. Whoa! New York Mayor Eric Adams spoke at an event this week about the status of the coronavirus pandemic and said, quote, everyone who moved to Florida, get your butts back to New York City. Everybody, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> Tomorrow is April Fool's Day. April Fool's, it's actually today because my show airs at an ungodly hour of the morning. And finally, according to a new study, men who eat excessive amounts of meat increase the risk of becoming infertile. So get ready for that to be an excuse. Baby, we don't need condoms. I just had ribs. <laughs> and that was a monologue, everybody.